to welcome back to better video welcome back to the channel man so man we got some more julian the phantoms behind the band this is episode five it's titled stories from the set so when i was looking at the last time i reacted to some behind the band or i did some julian the phantom it was like six days ago by the time i recorded this video today so i'm sorry about that but we're back here to drop some more behind the bands for you guys i know i had a person on my channel comment yesterday telling me where's the julian the phantom reaction so look i'm here to drop it for you today man so man we just finna go and get straight into the stand I remember the last time i reacted to the stand they had a whole time Thomas Edison starter kit. I don't know how they had that, but I just love reacting to videos like this, behind the scenes and stuff like that. They be having like some weird stuff going on, and I always spot it out. I always do. So we just finna go ahead and get straight into this thing. If you guys are new to the channel, go sit in that subscribe button down below on the way to 15,000 subscribers. Oh, and that though, hey, let's check it out, man. Oh, uh, that's the grossest hot dog. I have the best friends in the world. She was like, ah! See, like from the show compared to now, like. Man, when they were recording me be behind the scene, they be looking like a lot growner. Hey, we're the cast of Julie and the Phantoms. And today we're telling stories from set. The mm. most awkward time on set. We're filming the finale, we're filming Stand Tall. We're all in our suits, whatever. At the end of it, we're all supposed to come down the catwalk and stand together. Now, uh, Charlie and I... <laughs> Charlie and I heard something completely different than Mads and Jared did, clearly, because we come up to the front of the stage, and I swear we heard Kenny go, and then you all grab each other's hands, and you bow, and we look back, and we're watching back, like we go back to, to see what it looks like, and we're watching it, and at the end of Stand Tall, we all come forward, but Charlie and I are the only one holding hands. And we're like, what are we doing, dude? Oh, we I look see. ridiculous. And then we turn to Kenny and we're like, dude, why'd you have us do this? And he was like, I thought it was cute. And I was like, <laughs> Oh, John, he done set them up. I get, I, okay, I get what you're saying. Okay, He's Mr. Like, See, that man, Kenny, you gotta watch out. That man, you know what I'm saying? That man told him two different things. Whatever, man. When I was auditioning for Julian the Phantoms, it was actually the chemistry read with Madison, and I was actually super excited but nervous because, like, I didn't know how, like, it was all gonna go down. But, like, immediately when I met her, we, like, clicked. I was like, this girl gonna be my best friend. She gonna be my gonna be my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you know what? As in like craziest, like the most dopest, funnest scene uh, we ever got to film together had to be when you came out and rapped and I got the music. Oh that was the I craziest yeah. scene. Like especially when them girls and then you walk through and you were like, hey, and we were like, ah. ah okay, you turn it up, turn it up. <laughs> Dude, do you remember the hot dog scene on the couch? When you watch it back, you can see like our soul leaving our eyes when you watch that scene. We were shooting that at 4.30 a.m. 4.30 in the morning. For real. Okay. So it, it kind of makes sense though, because in that scene right there, when I was watching the show, it kind of had fog on the streets. You know what I'm saying? Fog from the um, like sewer, you know, like not even like sewer. Y'all know I like them, them streets be like them alleyways and stuff like that. They always have that stuff, that fall scene, make it look scary. Y'all guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, that's probably why. But dang, 4 a.m. Shoot, I'd have been tired too. Shoot, it's time to go to bed. You know what I'm saying? It's like 32 degrees outside, and we've got oh to eat these God. cold hot dogs like seven times in a row. <laughs> and then we're eating them, and it's the grossest hot dog I've ever had in my entire life. That's a new flavor. Chill, man. Street dogs haven't killed us yet. Oh, the worst. Oh my gosh. I thought Ugh. we were really gonna die. What? The man. guys are here. Hey guys. <laughs> Other way, sweetie. Oh. Flynn actually can't even see them, so it was especially hard for me because I like, I want, I would want to like interact with them or look at them when they're saying their lines. I'd be like. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have a question. Yeah. So Jada, do you remember that scene where we're in the garage and Carlos comes in and he's like, I have this salt and he's like waving it around and like Owen starts screaming. How did you not laugh at that? No! No god! I'm fine. I was trying so hard not to laugh. It's like crazy. Who's most likely to <laughs> make you laugh in the middle of the scene? Everybody at once. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> You guys, you're, it's easy. you're too sweet. This is weird because I don't know if to be like flattered or if it's like a bad thing because I'm so unprofessional. <laughs> no, oh, you no. should literally be so flattered because you're generally so funny 
and like such a like light. Uh -huh. I can always count on you to make me laugh. Remember when we ran in with the balloons and you had to pop it, but you guys are both terrified of popping balloons? I was scared of popping the balloons. She's scared of popping balloons. <laughs> so literally, she was like, when she'd pop it, Kenny was like, okay, pop it, pop just one balloon so you could get used to it. She was like, ah! I was like, <laughs> laughing. Being so loud. Oh. Anybody turn. I was like, Oh my She's God. like a fearless person too. She's not afraid to like literally go to California while 14, audition for this show, sing in front of all these executives, like learn all this stuff on the fly. But she was afraid of popping a balloon. It's just the funniest thing to me. It's just like, I don't like it. <laughs> so the what are the odds game, which started with Charlie and Owen, is a game where you ask someone, what are the odds that you jump in this water fountain? And basically, it's a dare. Maddie definitely had the best prank of the entire set, right? So Owen was going home for a weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maddie comes up. She's like, so Owen's leaving. I'm like, yeah. So what are the odds we wrap everything in his bedroom with a gifting wrap? Yeah, <laughs> but and shoot. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know about and them so pranks. We took everything from Owen's room put it in my bedroom, everything from my bedroom, put it in Owen's bedroom, <laughs> and everything in Owen's room, we wrapped it with gifting paper from the windows to the doors. Yeah, we yeah. have this awesome little video and his reaction too, it's really funny. Did you move our rooms? Dude, why don't we your gross room? <laughs> guys, this, you need, you guys need hobbies. The best part was, That's I get crazy. to Vancouver or whatever, and Savannah and Charlie are like, dude, do you want us to pick you up? And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, really? Like, you guys don't have to, like, it's all good. Like, you don't have to do that. Like, no, no, we want to pick you up. We missed you. We really want to see you. And I was like, I have the best friends in the world. Like, they're picking me up from the airport. It's so sweet of them. And then I get back to the, and it's just so they could get my reaction. So we wrapped all of Owen's room. And how does it feel? Like Christmas. <laughs> no, they don't put and a bow like, in their head. Charlie, would you have taken me if, if it wasn't for the prank? And he's like, oh no, you would have cabbed it. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I would have picked hey. you up. Thank you so much for watching our stories from set. Julian the Phantoms is now streaming on Netflix. Crazy. That's crazy though, bro. That last that last pair right there took a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like moving furniture. That's one thing about me, like moving houses, whatever you gotta do. I hate it, bro. That's literally the worst, bro, because moving stuff in and out of doorways, you know what I'm saying? Stuff be heavy, carrying it up this, carrying it up that, carrying it downstairs, carrying it up here. That's just be the worst thing in the world. But I would dedicate to do that prank, though, shoot. I wouldn't have went to that extreme, you know what I'm saying? I would have wrapped, you know what I'm saying, the stuff that's already in the room. But moving the whole room and stuff like that, count me out. Anyway, so that is going to do it for the reaction, man. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you hit the like button down below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below as well. On the way to 15,000 subscribers. But on that, oh, hey, before we get out of here, hey, expect another one tomorrow, though. I'm going to react to another one. And not, no, 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 matter of fact, matter of fact, because I do two uploads now. So, expect another one two days from now. Anyways, man, hey, Speedball Quality Care, can I'm out this thing. Peace out. Love you guys.